Hey guys, it's time to do a getting ready with me video where you go drab to fab. I'm going to show you this day to day look that I'm currently rocking most days and if you're interested, stay tuned. So to start on using Makeup Forever's hydrating primer all over my face, this stuff is absolutely fantastic guys. I slather this all over and then using a nice lightweight foundation, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation for myself. This is what I've been reaching for most days. I just like to dab it in with a beauty blender. I find it gives the most natural finish and this is just a nice lightweight foundation. And then I'm going to put on some concealer which is also the Urban Decay concealer. I use Fair in this one. And I just sort of make a little triangle below my eyes and then again dab it in with the beauty blender. And then to contour my face a little bit, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and I'm just gonna be carving out some cheekbones for myself. <laughs> Cause you know, I need them. And uh, once I have sort of a base coat there, I'm actually going to go back in with a darker color and just further chisel them out underneath um, just to further deepen that creasing under my jaw or under my, under my jaw, oh my gosh, under my cheekbone. And then just warm up the tops of my temples and the top of my forehead as well. And then I'm just going back in with a clean brush and just smoothing out some of those lines before I go back in with a beauty blender just to further blend everything out and make it look all nice and smooth. Once that's all set, I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and just setting all of the concealer that I have under my eyes because I cannot have my concealer moving on me because otherwise I look like I've been hit by a bus in the morning because of my under eye circles. And then I'm going to be going in with the Shade Light Kit from Kat Von D and using sort of the secondary shade there, I'm going to just further set my contour that I had earlier just to make sure that the cream doesn't move around anywhere and just go over those portions as well as my temples. And then once that's done, I'm going to warm up the face a little bit with some bronzer. This is Max. Uh, matte bronze love this stuff and I'm just going to swipe it lightly just over my temples my forehead and just sweet or oh my gosh can't talk today just lightly over my cheekbone just to warm up that area a little bit over my contour and then anything else that hasn't been touched by powder I'm gonna go in with Mac, Max sorry studio fix in NC 15 just to set everything else just to make sure it doesn't move and then you guys have seen my brow routine a million times. Makeup Forever Aqua Brow is my jam. So I'm going to be putting that on like I always do. Although this time I'll be setting it with one of MAC's uh, brow set gels. Uh, this one is in taupe. I just find that it lightens my brows just enough so it doesn't look so intense and dark. And then using Too Faced's uh, Chandelier Eye Primer, I'm going to lightly dust this over my eyelids. And I'm going to be going in with the Venus palette. I love this sort of glittery red color. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Like I can't even get enough of it. So I'm going to put that on my lids and then go in with the Lorac Pro palette and take that sort of light burgundy shade there and just sweep that into my crease as a transition shade. I wanted something a little bit more rich and warm. I've just been kind of craving those tones recently. A lot of the red tones just, I've been feeling it guys. I've been feeling it. And then I'm gonna go back in with this white color here just to highlight under my brow bone. Again, really gently, doesn't have to be a really large area, just, you know, just to highlight that arc. And then going back in with a smaller taper brush, I'm going to go back into the crease again with a slightly darker shade. This one is just a nice corduroy brown color, just to further deepen my crease area a little bit. And uh, again, just doing that on both sides. And then I'm going to go back in with a pencil brush and I'm going to take the darkest sort of burgundy shade there and I'm going to just carve out the outer corners of my eye just to further again deepen the crease and give the eye a little bit more drama. And then once uh, that portion of everything's done, I'm actually going to go back in with a smaller tapered or sorry, a, sorry, a clean blending brush. <laughs> sorry, just to blend everything all together just so it just looks nicely blended and there's no harsh lines. And then using a smaller brush, I'm just going to smudge in the brown shade under my lash line. I didn't really feel like using eyeliner, so I figured um, an eyeshadow do the trick. And then I put on some liquid liner, but I had to do it off camera because I just could not make it work for me today. <laughs> so I went right from there to mascara with filming, so sorry about that guys. But I'm using L'Oreal's and then using just a nice pink, almost a peachy color from NYX. I'm going to just lightly sweep that onto my cheeks just to give me a little bit of color and then using these new Demi Wispy Lashes or sorry these are Demi Pixie Lashes sorry from Ardell I'm going to throw those on and then finish off with a beautiful highlight from MAC 
I love this one. Sunscapade, I believe, is what it's, or sorry, Lightscapade is what it's called. So good though. I cannot get enough of this. And then I'm going to finish off the whole look with Lime Crimes Cupid. This came in part of their Liquid Velveteen Trio set at Valentine's Day, but I know you can buy them individually now as well in case you guys are interested. And other than that, guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want behind the scenes action, check me out on Snapchat. It's just my name, and I can't wait to see you guys very shortly.